Hello everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. In this video, we'll be exploring how to bypass the default user account control, UAC prompt in Windows, allowing you to install software without the usual elevation request. This method can be especially helpful in situations where you don't have administrative access but still need to run or install certain applications. If you find this content useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps the channel grow and allows me to create more valuable content for you. Let's get started. Today, I'm working on a Windows 11 Pro client machine that's joined to a domain and managed centrally by a domain controller. This kind of setup is typical in environments like schools, offices, or medium-sized businesses, where IT administrators enforce centralized control over user permissions, security policies, and software installations. In this environment, installing any new application requires a domain administrator account. When a regular user tries to run an installer or executable file, a user account control prompt appears, asking for an administrator's username and password. This is a built-in Windows security feature designed to prevent unauthorized changes to the system. UAC was first introduced in Windows Vista back in 2006 as a major step forward in Windows security architecture. It was designed to improve system security by limiting applications to standard user privileges unless explicitly elevated by an administrator. This approach enforces what's known as the principle of least privilege, which helps reduce the risk of malware infections and accidental system modifications by unauthorized software. Before we move into the demonstration, I want to be very clear. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not support or recommend using these methods in a professional environment or on any machine where you do not have proper authorization. Always follow your organization's IT policies and respect system security. Now, while UAC serves a very important purpose in maintaining system integrity, there are situations where it becomes an obstacle. For example, a user might need to install a simple utility for daily use, but for various reasons, administrator access isn't available at that moment. This is where the method I'm about to show you becomes relevant. To demonstrate, I'll download a small application used for compressing files but the same process works with many other types of software. After downloading the installer, navigate to the downloads folder where the file is saved. Create a new text file and open it for editing. On the first line, type set space double underscore compat underscore layer equals run as invoker. This command tells Windows to launch the next application without triggering the UAC prompt, even if the application requests elevation in its manifest. On the second line, paste the exact name of the installer file, including its file extension. Save the text file and rename its extension from text to bat, turning it into a batch file. Now when I run this batch file, it executes the installer with the same user privileges as the current session, effectively bypassing the UAC prompt. At this point, the installer launches, but there's an important limitation to keep in mind. By default, most applications try to install themselves in the program files directory, which is protected by the system and requires administrator rights. If I leave the default installation path unchanged, the installation will fail because the user doesn't have permission to write to that folder. To avoid this, rerun the batch file, and when the installer starts, manually change the installation path. For this demonstration, I create a new folder named Programs directly under the C drive and select that as the destination. This location does not require elevated privileges, so the installer is able to complete successfully. After the installation finishes, test its functionality by compressing a file. As you can see, the software works perfectly, all without needing administrator credentials at any point. This technique can be a helpful workaround in certain situations, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It only works for applications that don't genuinely require elevated privileges, and it's important not to misuse it in managed environments where security policies are in place for a reason.
One important thing to note is that the software you just installed does not fully integrate with the system. If you check the start menu, you'll notice that there is no shortcut or folder created for the application. It doesn't appear in the usual list of installed programs, which can make it less convenient to access. Additionally, if you open the control panel and navigate to programs and features, you'll find that the software is not listed there either. This behavior occurs because we used the Run as Invoker compatibility flag during the installation process. This flag instructs Windows to launch the application with the same privileges as the parent process, effectively bypassing any requests for elevation via user account control, even if the application's manifest explicitly requests administrator rights. As a result, the installer runs with standard user permissions, which prevents it from making system-wide changes, such as registering the application for uninstallation or adding entries to the start menu. While this method allows the software to function for basic use, it's important to understand that it also limits how fully integrated the software will be with the operating system. And with that, we conclude today's demonstration. I want to reiterate that this video is intended solely for educational and demonstration purposes. Please do not attempt to use these methods on any system or in any environment where you do not have proper authorization. Unauthorized use can lead to serious security and legal consequences. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Your support truly helps the channel grow and motivates me to create more valuable content for you. Thank you very much for your time and for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.